Okay, Monica, you know what, honey? You're kind of losing it here. I mean, this is really becoming like a weird obsession thing. This is madness. It's madness, I tell you, for the love of God, Monica, don't do it! Madness. This is Sparta! What's up guys, Sal here. So we know that Samsung is making not only smartphones or smart products, but also supplies components for different products. And apart from the displays and chips, it's also very popular in the camera sensor market. Earlier it launched the industry's first 108 megapixel camera sensor, and then the Galaxy S20 Ultra was equipped with this new sensor. However, this is far from the end of the pixel war. Recently we learned that Samsung is developing a third generation billion pixel camera sensor. The number of this new sensor will reach 150 million. And while some of us believe that the 108 megapixel sensor is overkill for smartphones, let alone 150 megapixels, Samsung thinks otherwise because in an official editorial in their own website, Samsung is saying they are developing a new camera sensor that will capture more detail than the human eye. Yongin Park, who has the sensor business team at Samsung's LSI division, has revealed that the resolution of the human eye is set to be around 500 megapixels. Samsung, however, is developing a 600 megapixel sensor that could be used in smartphones, drones, cars, and IoT devices. Samsung mentioned that it would have been very easy to make the 600 megapixel sensor if they simply put as many pixels as possible together into a sensor. But it will be absurdly huge and won't fit into a smartphone. And that's where the challenges begin. So in order to shrink the sensor, Samsung would have to reduce the pixel size. But the downside of that is smaller pixels can result in fuzzy or dull pictures due to the smaller area that each pixel receives light information from. So what Samsung did was, as some of you have already guessed it, they used pixel binning technology. The Galaxy S20 Ultra's 108 megapixel camera uses Nona Cell tech that bends 9.0.8 micron pixels to function as one large 2.4 micron pixel to deliver impressive low light performance. Samsung is using similar binning tech to achieve this crazy 600 megapixel resolution while keeping the overall sensor as compact as possible. Samsung also mentioned that they are not just developing camera sensors but also looking into other types of sensors that can register smells or tastes. Sensors that even go beyond the human senses to eventually become integral parts of our daily lives. For example, image sensors that could perceive ultraviolet light that can be used for diagnosing skin cancer by capturing pictures to showcase healthy cells and cancer cells in different colors. So they are not looking to target just smartphones with this new sensors but other important fields as well. Samsung hasn't mentioned anything about when we can expect this crazy megapixel madness but I'll say it will take them a long time to launch this for a smartphone. The current flagship smartphone chip such as the Snapdragon 865 supports up to a 200 megapixel camera sensor. So first they need to make chipsets that can support these many camera pixels. So don't expect it to happen this year or even next year. But hey, with how fast technology is moving forward these days, I wouldn't be surprised if they launch it sooner than we would expect. Of course, with that being said, let me know what you think about this down in the comments. And as always, I'll see you tomorrow. Peace out.